How's it going everyone? My name's Sam. I just had my birthday two days ago and as a little birthday gift to myself, I bought a couple NFTs. Now, I'll be honest, I was not interested in NFTs a couple months ago, but as time moved on, I saw demand picking up. I saw a lot of cool artwork. The other thing that we saw was a couple big companies buying NFTs. We saw Visa buy a $150,000 CryptoPunk and we also have Budweiser that bought Beer.eth for about $100,000 worth of Ethereum. So whether you like NFTs or not, you have to realize that there is a lot of potential upside right now and there are companies, public companies, that are buying significant amounts of these different NFTs. And I decided that I wanted to take the plunge. And I'll be honest, this is much riskier than investing in stocks. It's much riskier than investing in real estate or even crypto itself. There's a lot more potential upside, but also, these could go down to near zero. Now, I wanna tell you about the NFTs I bought today, kind of my thinking behind it. I'm not gonna shill it or anything like that. Of course, always do your own research. Go follow great creators like JRNY Crypto and Alex Becker. They are, I think, some of the best people to follow for NFTs, but I want to show you what I'm doing so you can either learn from my mistake or you can see how to do it in real time because I just bought these yesterday and today. So we are not gonna wait until they're worth 30 times more and then do a video on them. I wanna to talk to you about them here today. Now, of course, if you buy these when they're pumped up a ton and then they sell off, <laughs> that is your own fault for buying them after they're pumped up. The ones that I bought are under about 0.5 ETH, so they are still affordable for most people in the crypto space that are looking for NFTs, but they are after they're mint. They have gone up a decent amount, so don't complain to me if they fall a lot because I am giving that disclaimer. Now, that being said, I will tell you what I bought here today, but make sure you guys hit that like button before we get started. I appreciate that. And I do wanna say, I am actually giving away one of these, uh, possibly. So if you guys want, I'm talking with the developers of the NFTs that I bought, and if you want, you can go follow me on Twitter. I'll leave it as the top link down in the description. And there, we're just trying to determine if people would really like this. And if they will, then we talked about the developers and I talked about doing a giveaway. So definitely go follow my own Twitter and then follow them. And then we can give away uh, one of these NFTs that's worth about $1,000 or so right now. Uh, the floor is about $1,000. So why did I decide to go and buy some NFTs. Well, NFTs have been rising a lot. The trend in Google Trends is going up pretty drastically. Now we had a lot of hype back here, back in March, April, May, start to pick up a little bit. And then we saw a little bit of a drop here throughout the beginning of the summer, and we're starting to see it take off again. Sure, we are seeing more people look up NFTs, but we're not close to where we were before. And maybe part of that is because people know what NFTs are before people were just curious, but we have records being set in terms of volume for NFTs. You can see that the first half of the year, the volume was 2.5 billion compared to 13.7 million in the first half of last year. So year over year, it's up about 100X, actually a little bit more than that, about 200X. So we have some insane volume, but if you still look, compared to the overall art and antiques market, it's still a fraction. So there's about 64 billion US dollars in 2019. I'm guessing this actually has gone up a lot the last year or two because of the fact that there's a lot more money in the system and everyone's buying everything that's expensive. People are trying to get their hands on any kind of collectible because of all the money that's out there. So we also have something that's interesting about NFTs is a lot of them have utility. So instead of artwork, which I realize some people are gonna say, well, NFTs are just JPEGs, they're just pictures, anyone can copy and paste them. Kind of true, but you are not the legal owner, right? I can go take a picture of a Picasso and I can put it up on the wall. I could probably get a knockoff and it would look just like a Picasso to most people. But that's not the point. The point is that you can, you actually know yourself and other people can actually figure out that it's the original. The thing that's interesting about NFTs is though, that they actually have utility, right? They're not just a, a piece of artwork. Some, some of the time they actually give you more than that. So for example, the, the NFTs that I bought, I should just get to the point here. The NFTs I bought were these. I realized that for some people, this might not be their cup of tea, but I thought the artwork, first of all, looks awesome, right? Artwork is really cool. It is, I'd say that 
it's grown very quickly. You can see 4.2 thousand owners of the 10,000 items on rarity.tools. They do a good job of showing different, different sets of NFTs and how they're distributed. You can see that the owners, these different NFT sets, the killers are 16th and that's after just a few days. So it's widely distributed already, which is awesome because if less people own it, that means they can't just dump, like one person can't dump a thousand of these on the market at a very low level. So that's good. Also, you can see that some of these have a lot more total supply, like 20,000. Uh, some of these have 15,000, 24,000. So in terms of different owners, they actually have a good amount of different owners for how young they are because they were just starting a couple days ago. Now, they have a floor price that is also pretty, uh, I'd say pretty accessible to most people in the crypto space. I realize that 0.28 ETH for some people is a lot, right? That's like $1,000 almost. But for people that have been in the crypto space that are looking at NFTs, sure, they get cheaper than this, but to mint new NFTs, they're usually 0.03 ETH to 0.06 ETH. So there still are a lot of people that can get in on this. The other thing is they do have utility. So for example, here they say game, they're going to have a game. They're gonna have a 2D RPG game and its assets will be fractionalized, tokenized and distributed only to the holders. So that's a good thing if you can buy an NFT that actually has utility instead of just a piece of art. Now the pieces of art can still go up a lot in value, but if they have utility, that does give them another selling point. It gives them some hype when the game is going to come out. Something else that they announced is Every killer needs a companion. These new characters will be joining the mix on game launch and can only be claimed by killer's holders. So killer's holders, holders will be able to actually get more of these NFTs. Now, again, like I said, I am possibly gonna give one of these away. We're just kind of testing the water. So if you, got, if you wanna follow me on Twitter underneath, you can possibly get a free NFT that's worth $1,000 at least as of now. Now. Like I said, this is something that's a little bit riskier. I have bought three myself. I'll show you them here uh, on OpenSea. I bought three myself, but the value could go down. The value could go down uh, anytime. And we're constantly seeing, because this is so new, this, this set is so new, we're constantly seeing some people dump on the market for underneath the floor price. The floor price is the lowest price essentially, and that's 0.28 but we do see a couple people here and there listing for less than that. And that can actually be a really good buying in point. So if you can see someone posted one of these for 0.22 and every other one is 0.28 ETH, it can be a good time to pick one up. Like this one was put up for 0.27 in none of this color because they have different traits, right? This has a body type of ghost. None of the other ghosts are trading for uh, any less than that. Most of them are trading for almost 0.1 ETH above that. So that can be a great time to be able to snipe one. I also sniped this one at 0.28. This was my first one. I bought it for the highest amount, but I've been able to get in on a couple of these that were, I'd say significantly undervalued compared to some of the other ones. Now, of course, this is just my own opinion. Anything can happen with these. These could go down pretty drastically, but buying in at the floor price is really the way to go in my opinion. Of course, if you are someone that has some money to throw at this and you just really love it and you really are very bullish and you want the number one, you can definitely buy some of the rarer ones, but it can be a bad decision to do that just in case, let's say you buy, let's say you buy a medium. Uh, a medium priced one. So instead of 0.28 ETH, like the floor one that I got, Instead of that, you buy it for 0 0.6 and and it's uh, you try to sell it later, right? Let's say it drops, everything drops 50%. It can be really hard to sell those that are in the mid range because some people that really believe in the project will try to pick up on some of those more expensive ones because they are really cool and they're more rare. And if they think the project's gonna go up a lot, then those are gonna be the ones that sell for insane amounts of money. But if you buy one at the floor, then those will be easy to sell too because of the fact that, hey, it's the cheapest one. People automatically will list by lowest price to highest price and they will try to buy some of the cheapest ones because that's more accessible. They won't scroll down halfway down through 100 of these to find yours and then buy it for 0.3 ETH when you bought it for 0.6 and everything else is selling for 0.15 and up. 
that's just not very likely. So buying at the floor is a good way to go unless you are more experienced. Now, this is not the be all and end all, the killers. I just think that they have great artwork. They're coming out with a game. They have a really good community and they distributed across a lot of different holders very quickly. But you can get into other NFTs. I think following people on Twitter that are in this space is a good way to go. Making sure that the community is strong and making sure that if you can get in on the mint price, mint price is a good time to go. So if you can buy in the day that they're minted, that is usually a good way to go. If if you follow out and figure out all that other criteria, hey, they have a good community, they have a lot of followers already, they have a lot of people that are excited, there's a lot of buzz behind it, there are some big influencers behind it or something or, that are buying it. I think that is one of the safer routes to go because a lot of them won't sell for a lot less, assuming that they are a cool project with some good artwork. But of course, do your own research. Definitely hit the link underneath the video to my Twitter so that you can possibly get an NFT, follow me, and then also go follow their page if you want that because I, I will be probably working with them, uh, assuming we do get some people that want us to give away a free NFT. They're already giving away one right now uh, with, I think it's a different influencer. I'm not sure who the other person is. Uh, I hadn't heard of them before, but they are giving some of these away. They're giving away different things too in their community, in their Discord. So definitely check that out again kind of a gamble in NFTs, but if you're willing to risk a little bit of money, it's not the worst way that you can risk money in my opinion. Do your research, don't yell at me. If you lose money, always do your research. Thank you guys so much for watching, I appreciate it. Thank you for all the birthday wishes and I will see you in the next video, bye.